Living in Dublin, I work as a lecturer in theology. I'm a professor in Trinity College Dublin, but teaching people who are training to be ordained as Anglican priests. And I've been doing that for the last 10 years or so. Most of my working life was as a journalist. I worked for over 30 years as a journalist, beginning as a freelance contributor to the Litchfield Mercury, because I came here in my teens and I have a lot of family connections with Litchfield. I still come back three times a year and I contribute occasionally to the Litchfield Gazette. And this is really is my spiritual home. I arrived here as, a, as an 18, 17 year old looking for my family connections. I knew my great grandfather had been here doing the very same thing. And I never found his book until a few years ago. But I uh, started staying here, loved the place, felt at home. One week I had been out in Shropshire uh, walking around Wenlock Edge and when I came back to Litchfield we're in St John's Hospital in the chapel at the moment and I walked in that afternoon into the chapel in St John's Hospital and I felt filled with the light and the love of God and that's my self-defining moment in life that's my self-defining existentialist moment in terms of how I see me as Patrick Comerford at this stage and I didn't know how to respond to that. I was a normal 18, 19 year old. I was interested in where I was going to go drinking that evening and who I was going to bump into and was there going to be a game of rugby at the weekend, that type of thing. And I didn't know how to respond to it and I went up to the cathedral and I sat into the choir stalls for Coral Evensong that evening. It was a Thursday evening, I still remember it well. And one of the residential canons in the cathedral turned around to me afterwards and said, I suppose a young man like you has started coming to church because you're thinking of ordination. I took the scenic route. I went off and I worked as a journalist and went back to university, did two degrees in theology, and I was 48 before I was ordained. So I've had a very scenic journey from Litchfield and I keep coming back a few times a year because this is a spiritual home to me as well.